Good evening, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching theCUBE's live coverage of Google Cloud Next 23, live from the Moscone Center South in San Francisco. Lisa Martin here with John Furrier. We've been here all day covering all of the news that you may have heard or may not this morning that came from Google and its partner ecosystem. We're going to be continuing that conversation with a 2023 Google Partner of the Year. Emphasis joins John Furrier and me, Lisa Martin. Scott Krynock is here, the AVP Global Head of Google Cloud Alliance at Emphasis. And Shyam Vijayan, AVP Head Google Cloud Economy at Emphasis. Welcome and congratulations, your <laughs> pin say it, Thank 2023 you. Partner of the Year. Scott, talk, talk to us a little bit about Emphasis, how you guys are working with Google Cloud, and then Shyam, we'll get your yep. perspective as well. Sure, sure, yeah, absolutely. Oh. Thank you, thank you for Th the Yeah, thank you for having us. So yeah. we have a very strategic relationship with Google Cloud. Um, the, the partnership's in acceleration mode, right? And there's a, in a various couple of different ways. One is definitely capability building, right? Around all their different various programs, certifications, specializations, expertise badges, and so on. The other is really like aligning as teams in terms of focused accounts, finding synergies like in certain industries, and we'll talk more about that today. Um, but we see this as a rapidly growing partnership and, uh, and quite frankly, just excited to be here face to face with a lot of my colleagues at Google Cloud this week. The excitement, yeah. oh, the excitement's really high though, right now. I've never seen the excitement oh, yeah. or um, heat for the AI from a real legit business transformation. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Share yeah. your perspectives. I love your title, the head of Google Cloud Economy. Talk a little bit about what that is oh, and sure. how you're working with, from Infosys' perspective, mm -hmm. with the Google Cloud oh, yeah. Economy. Sure, sure, sure. Absolutely, absolutely. So, we have what we call as a very deep 360 degree relationship with Google. Um, what I mean by that is uh, we are each other's large partners and customers of each other. So we deliver a lot of services into Google and the entire Alphabet family on one side. On the other side, we are a very large customer of Google, especially in the Asia Pacific area. And together we go to market uh, to help our joint customers in their transformation journeys as well. So, so it's a very, very deep relationship, and how that helps us and our customers is that on one side, this gives us very deep understanding of Google products and you know, the cutting edge technology, and on the other hand, we couple that with our own industry specific knowledge of all the various industries that we service. Bringing those two together gives us a very, very good base to help our customers. You know, all our customers are in their digital transformation journey, right? So with this combination of capabilities, we're able to really innovate. Uh, we're both known for our innovation um, in our respective areas. We come together, we innovate, and we focus on delivering business value, tangible business value to our customers, right? So, I, and I can bring, bring it to life with examples, right? Well, before, uh, yeah. before we get there, let's get the news out about the Partner of the Year Award. Oh, sure. Yeah. You got two awards, yeah. so mm -hmm. that's notable. Congratulations. Yeah. What were the areas um, yeah. that you guys were recognized for your yeah. leadership and success? Right, so this year we are recognized for uh, both the Industry Partner of the Year and the um, Specialization Partner of the Year. On the industry side, it is for the supply chain and logistics part. Uh, it's a global award, and on the specialization side, it's for application development. Uh, those were the two areas, um, and I, I, it's a nod yeah. to uh, you know the kind of innovation that we are driving with uh, some of our largest joint customers globally in, in both these areas. You know? We had, we had Carrie on earlier. She runs industries for Google Cloud, mm -hmm. um, and she was talking about. Um, how the AI is really disrupting a lot of the process management yeah. side of it. So, I mean, I can imagine on the supply chain side, yep. the innovations mm -hmm. coming yep. in have, must have been really strong. Can you give uh, an example yeah. of how you guys have put some new game-changing technology oh, yeah, and yeah. services in place? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So if you look at the supply chain industry, or for that matter, supply chain and the channel industry, right? Um, some of the biggest challenges that they are facing across the board, you know, including the global leaders, is really focused around getting real time insights into inventory, into changing consumer behavior, into really sensing the demand, because it's, it, you know, the, that industry is spread across such a huge set of players, right? 
from the, where it gets manufactured, the products, the channels, to the retailers, to the distributors, and everybody in between, and the consumers on the other hand. So, there's a huge amount of um, challenges with, uh, with respect to gaining insight. So, so that's the area that we've been helping many customers in, and we're doing it in multiple ways. With some of the customers, it's directly about solving their business needs. It's, it's about not just solving for their efficiency and insight relations, but also trying to help them with uh, getting into new market segments, right? Getting into new, completely new um, you know, revenue streams for them as well. And I can uh, illustrate with a few examples. That's one side and I'll double click on it. The other is, we parlayed our experiences into certain products that we have built, which, which actually all these, um, you know, the, these industry players can actually consume, that gives them the real-time real insights into what's happening on the, uh, the scene, because you're connected to all these different partners, be it channel players, distributors, retailers, globally. So we get a level of insight, into real-time insight into what's happening on the in, across, that then the, you know, these uh, CPG companies or uh, manufacturing companies or pharma companies can actually, uh, you know, really tap into. And that gives them the, not just the visibility, real-time visibility, but they also get, the, get them a sense of how the consumer behavior is changing ah, as well. Okay. So they can in real time adjust their, uh, you know, the uh, product movement across the supply chain, right? So that's, that's uh, what we're doing. We, uh, back on the, some of the very cool innovative ones that we have done, so for example, for one of the uh, leading supply chain players in the Americas, their vision was to become a single stop leading su uh, supply chain provider in the US and across North America, right? And for them, what we're doing is we're building a supply chain orchestration engine, completely net new, right, on Google Cloud, and through that, uh, what we're building out is a multimodal marketplace, a highly automated um, engine through which at any point in time, the, you know, any consumer or any company that is uh, taking their services okay. get, get real-time visibility in how their products are moving and also uh, give them their, um, you know, an ability to move any product anywhere and get it delivered anywhere across the US. So they work with this platform, integrates pretty much all the major players who are that's, otherwise dis, that's you know, critical. disparate. So yeah. That's, that's what we all, all want that. is that real-time information. Scott, yeah. I want to bring you back into the conversation. Yeah. Talk a little bit more, Mark. you're the head of the alliance. Yeah. How is, is Infosys working with Google Cloud? Talk about the evolution of the partnership. Yeah. And even some of the, I mean, the, it was like a canon of news this morning. <laughs> yeah, some of the things coming out from Google Cloud that excite you about the direction that it can take the partnership. Yeah, yeah, so thanks for that question. So. Uh, a lot of it gets into enablement, right? In terms of like what we do, we are a very large company. Right? And just to give it a little bit of perspective, we do these things called uh, Google Cloud Delivery Summits every year. We've done it for the last three years. We just wrapped up our re most recent delivery summit. Um, it was two months long, so eight weeks. 21,000 um, participants, right? Over the course of eight weeks, this included you know, trainings, knowledge sessions, and also a hackathon. We got close to 1,000 people um, that were certified. Right? And we also did a hackathon with over 300 teams involved. So I think it really uh, encapsulates the, the energy, the excitement, the focus, and also the capabilities that we have inside Infosys for Google Cloud. And like the other award that we won was around app development, application development. And I think it really shows in terms of like out of the, this is you know, one of the, the largest practices we have inside Infosys. In fact, we're showcasing our Infosys Enterprise Live app development platform this week. It's really around you know, workflows and AI-enabled tools and really trying to simplify, simplify the app modernization journey on GCP. But you know, just between the, activity, between the solution building we're doing, between the delivery summits we're doing, and this is global, right? Obviously heavy presence in India, but we're doing this all around the globe. We have a new training facility uh, in Indianapolis in the US. Um, the excitement's great as the Alliance Manager responsible for this partnership. It's great to see the energy and the focus. Yeah. Great to see the thousand people get certified and all the participants that Absolutely. over an eight week period. It shows excitement. The question I have for you, if you don't mind sharing, if people are watching and might have a different perception of Google Cloud from a couple years ago, what's new now? If you have a chance to say to someone watching, hey, this is what's up with Google, get, get on board or Give, what's the update? How would you share? Yeah. How would you articulate Google Cloud now 
versus just even a year or two ago? Yeah. What would no, you guys say? Great, great question. <laughs> Actually, when we look at, let's start from the customer journey or what are they trying to do, right? If you look at the enterprise customers, they're all in this digital transformation um, journey, right? And digital transformation, if you really boil down to what are the big components of it, there is AI coupled with cloud. That's what is driving digital transformation. And so if you look at the Google Cloud offerings from that standpoint, they're really leading the pack with that combination of cloud and AI. They were anyway ahead on the AI space earlier, now with the combined cloud plus AI combination, it's, it's really uh, best of breed, because what's happening is, the cloud part gives you the, the scalability and the modern environment for you to innovate very, very fast, but the AI part gives you the insights that you can then turn into very quick um, decisions that can drive up business growth and um, you know, execution as well. So that combination that uh, Google has got it right now, um, that, that's really something which is unique and that's very, very contextual for any customer who's on their transformation journey today. That, that's a quick, uh, this thing. Awesome. And, and how, yeah. Yeah. Scott, what would you say? I would, I would say just over the last few years, like we've both evolved as partnering together, right? This, this ranges everything from their partner programs into our capability building that I just that I just spoke about, and then also just the market presence, right? I think back at three years ago when I took this role, right? There's, in terms of, you know, what was Google Cloud going to be three years from now, right? And I think we're really happy on, on where we've both come yeah. together as partners. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting, the ecosystem is thriving for Google. Yeah. yeah. And the ISVs, the SIs, GSIs, yeah. all really taking advantage yeah. of yeah. the Cloud plus AI. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, the relevance in the um, enterprise segment has really, really improved over the last several yeah. years, right? When Google came in, it was more of a consumer side and you yeah. know, all of those properties, the billion dollar their properties. Own engineers. <laughs> yeah. That's the joke we used to say. <laughs> yeah. no, but they've evolved. Thomas yeah. Curian, uh, it's very clear, we, we, so he came in and he said from day one, we're not going to build products for ourselves. Because uh, they have a great engineers at Google, yeah. we all know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enterprises, uh, you know, maybe because get solutions look good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you guys can yeah. add. <laughs> I'd love good. to hear, Scott, from your perspective on AI first. We heard that this morning in the keynote from Thomas, from TK, from others as well. What does that mean to Infosys and how, are you, how does your strategy align with that of Google's from an alliance yeah. lens? Yeah, well we're an AI first company. In fact, yeah. we have, we've rolled out recently uh, in the press, Infosys Topaz. It's actually more of a, it's a slogan, it's a, it's a uh, in terms of Infosys and the fact that we have thousands of assets you know, that solve business challenges for industries, different blueprints, intellectual property on top of Google Cloud um, that, that is AI based, right? And obviously we're now like immersed in gen AI capabilities, but as a company, this isn't, even, this isn't a new phenomenon for us when it comes to AI. We've been doing this for a number of years and it's been the core strategy of our company. And what does yeah. it mean to your customers? How do they embrace, approach, adopt an AI yeah. first mentality. Yeah, it's all enablement, evangelization, um, workshops, right? Making sure that there's an appreciation for the different use cases that, that apply to their business. In fact, you know, even working with customers in terms of hackathons and bringing like great ideas to the table and then working on AI, whether it's like a, a, a CCAI um, solution for their contact center modernization or so on, but really getting down to real use cases that impact the business day to day. Yeah, What's great is you guys are a great example of when we were watching the cloud rise emerge, the smart partners built capabilities on top of the cloud yeah. in Gen 1. You guys were one of them, you mentioned a few examples. Yeah. Okay, so that you kind of built on top of the hyperscalers. Yeah. Okay, and Google being one of them. Now, you're, that investment pays dividends because now AI comes in, you got yeah. speed yep. to value much faster, product market fit on things. Capabilities, yep. yeah. scale, yeah, absolutely. That you might not have had just putting stuff together, right? I mean, yeah. the old model, hey, because we got a problem with help bring people together, put a party together, yeah. solution. And now, now you're the solution provider. Yep. Correct. Yep. Absolutely. That's absolutely. the new game. Yes. It's a super cloud experience. You're bringing the, the you're bringing a multiple environment, cloud market, and multiple elements together yeah. at a glue layer. Yeah, absolutely. And then integrating in the customer. Correct, that's exactly what we've done. So, 
For us, we have bought in our several years of experience, right, uh, into two major offerings. One is called Cobalt and the other is Topaz, right? Cobalt is focused on the cloud part, right? So it has got hundreds of thousands of assets that we have built over time from industry platforms yeah. all the way to technology adoption accelerators. All of that helps customers to accelerate the journey very quickly because you, there is this whole layer of customization to be done on, on the hyperscaler environments in order for enterprises to take advantage of cloud and to get it to a standard that meets their uh, you know, compliance requirements and all that. So the Cobol set of um, offerings takes care of that and on, built on top of that is the Topaz set of offerings. The Topaz offerings are focused on the AI and the uh, Gen AI capabilities, right? So we have you know, hundreds of pre-built uh, yeah. models, we have... It's your data, thousands. it's your knowledge. Right, <laughs> so we bring all of this, so when we get into a client environment, it's yeah. very easy to take them on that journey. You know, cut down the time to market, or time to value for them, because all of these can be easily yeah. plugged in, maybe customized if they want it to be, yeah. otherwise just start using them and straight go to value. You know, Lisa and I have been talking about this on theCUBE, Lisa, for many months in the past year and a half, AI scales data, check, mm -hmm. makes it smarter, check. It also scales knowledge and intellect yeah. 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 and work. Yeah. Previous body of work, in this case, yeah. recipes, templates, whatever you want to call them, yeah. use cases. I mean, the com combination of all that yeah. takes your work and effort, puts it into a scale mode. Correct. Yeah. Scale and, and speed. reuse. Speed. Yeah. The insights, yeah, unlocking yeah. that value. Yeah, awesome. absolutely. No, time to value, you mentioned that, Shayam. Time to value is not just a, a phrase or a marketing term. There's a lot of, I want to say value to it, but there's a lot of impact that it can make. Yeah. Last question, Scott, is for you as we wrap here. With the news coming out today, the evolution of the event that you guys talked about, the partnership, what are some of the things that we can be looking out for down the, down the six to 12 month road in terms of emphasis and its work with an AI first Google Cloud. Sure, I'll start and let Sean yeah. add, but obviously AI focus with Gen AI, right? Being like a major focus area and investment area for our organization, talking to clients, but also enabling our broader organization from a skill perspective. Um, I would also say that just continue to, to grow our success with clients, right? We were talking about, you were talking about how this helps the work, like we're not, we're selling, like we're, we're focused on business outcomes with our yeah. clients, right? And working with Google from an industry standpoint, from our yeah. so, joint solutions, and from an AI and Gen AI perspective, we can really deliver business outcomes with our, with our portfolios. But yeah, I'll let yeah. you add more. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. that's our focus, business outcomes, and get it delivered as quickly as possible. Yeah. And uh, that's where our investments are all going in. And the other thing is, we learn from our own experience. We, we are an AI, first company within yeah. our own operations, right? Yeah. So that's given us a lot of, and we are a global company, right? Um, with presence in about 65 countries, and a global workforce, so there's a lot of. You deliver what you do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you have experience and credibility, exactly. and scar tissue, as they say. Yeah. Exactly, and then <laughs> turn that into a product <laughs> offering to scale. Well those learnings are critical yeah. in agile environments. You're constantly refactoring, yeah. and that's the real the value. It's super, yeah. super valuable. Yeah, I think ultimately it's business outcomes at speed and scale yeah. with that agility. Guys, thank Absolutely. you so much for joining John and me. Talk. Congratulations again thank on you. the 2023 Partner of the Award partner of the year award in two categories. We look forward to watching the Emphasis Google Cloud Platform relationship continue to evolve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, our Thank pleasure. You. For our guests and for John Furrier, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's day one coverage live, Google Cloud Next. Speaking of next, what's next on our program? Our day one wrap. I get to sit down with our three analysts, John, Rob Streche, Dustin Kirkland. We're going to be really giving you a great 15 minute synopsis of what we learned today on day one of the event. Stick around, we'll see you in a few minutes.